I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody for the positive comments I had on my last video I uploaded my little trip down memory lane around Kozel. That video wasn't intended to be like that to be honest. I've had a new camera, my, well, my first camera I've ever had really, I've always been using mobile phones before. So I've had a camera and I'm just trying to get used to all the settings on it and how it works. So on that particular Saturday, I just decided to get up early, go around Kozel and take some photos and some little clips of video. When I was editing them, it turned out to be a little bit of a trip down memory lane. So I've decided to do one around Water Orton. A lot of the things have changed now, a lot of the places have changed, so I thought it'd be a good idea to do one around here before it changes even more. If you liked my previous video and you like this video and you want to see some more, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll see other videos I've done, walk arounds, holidays, trips to Thailand, even taking the Stormtrooper out for a bit. So that's it, yeah, um, subscribe to my channel, hope you like the video. Right then, so the weather's a lot better than last week. Decided to do a little bit of a trip down memory lane around Water Orton at some of the places I used to hang around as a kid. Started off back over at the train station. I don't know why really, but it seemed like a good place to start. Can't actually get to where I used to hang around as a kid down here, but right down the bottom, I used to back onto the back of my house. Uh, after a field and me and a few uh, the kids used to knock around with as a kid used to play around down the banks onto the railway lines as everyone I think the older generation all used to hang around on railway lines um, we used to build like a sledge out of corrugated metal and slide down big embankment onto the railway tracks and also build um, build like dens on the hill So that's really as far as I used to hang around on the railway tracks, but that was quite a bit, quite a bit up there. Past the red lights. Horton shops it's changed a bit down there. There used to be a shop called Windeen. I think this was the first shop I hired out a video camera. I think it was £30 for the weekend. Behind me where Cut Feathers is there used to be the post office. Going way back. I can't remember what the other two shops were. Water Horton Methodist Church. I used to get the boys brigade there. I'm now down, going down by the side of the banks, down the side of the river. When we were younger, we used to bring our motorbikes down here. Some of the uh, people that have lived in the village a long time will probably uh, remember the noises 
of motorbikes on a Sunday afternoon down by the railway tracks. That was me and my mates. Sorry about that. Yeah, so I'm walking down the side of the banks now. It's all gated off. I haven't been down here for years. I don't even know how far you can get down here or if you can get anywhere. I thought I'd just have a quick jump over the fence and have a look. So it turns out you can't actually get anywhere. Just a complete dead end. I remember when they first blocked this off over here. They blocked it off halfway down, but now completely shut. Oh, it goes on to WH Plastics. That'll be why then. Oh, it to somewhere different. The old graveyard in Water Orton. To be honest, I never used to come over this side of the village. Not really. I think I've only ever been over here about three times. One thing that surprised me is Water Orton is a lot busier early in the morning than Kozel is. Kozel last week was dead till about seven o'clock. I've been out this morning since five and already there was traffic on the roads. I think a lot of people use it as a rat run. You know, just like a shortcut to get through to everywhere. Shame really, but there you go. So where I am, just having a little walk around Water Orton Church, around the graveyard. Graveyards have always fascinated me. Don't know why. I like reading the tombstones. A bit morbid really, isn't it?
So behind me is my local, the dig bee. No idea how long that's been there to be honest. I might look it up and include it in the video. Be interesting to know. But again, since I've been here, this has had four or five different owners. No, maybe four. Four different owners, I think. And this place has changed. I used to have a little um, off license in a hatch. Get your drinks. The army is where I had my very first job at the greengrocers, putting all the uh, fruits and vegetables away every night and coming in every Saturday and breaking up all the boxes. That's gone now. There used to be a butcher's as well. Sid was the butcher and Mick was the greengrocer. Anybody that knows Warsaw knows that place. Derek sadly passed away, I think it was last year or the year before and not long after Paul, sad. One of the playing fields. Behind me is Water Hunt Primary School. This is the first school that I attended when I came to Water Orton. I made friends with a load of people when I first got there. Uh, later found out that they'd put me in the wrong year, so I had to drop down a year and make all new friends again, which was a bit of a bummer. But I made friends more friends that way I suppose because I made friends in the year above and then the year that I was in Water and Cricket Club. Never really been into cricket. And I've never actually been into that club either. I spent a lot of time around this part of the village when I was younger. As my best mate lived in that house behind me. Or well, my best mate at the time. David Weston. I think I see him around the village every now and then, but I'm not even sure, I'm not sure if it is him. If you do see this, David, and you see him, mate, say hello. So this was the road we grew up on, riding up and down here on our bikes all day, all night. All these green pieces of grass they used to have cherry trees on every single one of them, and all down Birmingham Road. That's the only one left. Beyond the back of these houses, there's three fields. And the four that people used to knock around with. We used to have motorbikes, and we used to have these three fields as our own little motocross tracks. It was great. Beyond me used to be the old off license, the vine. When I first moved to Water Orton, the nursing home behind me used to be an old 
derelict butchers and that house there and we used to have a den in there we used to get in through a little back door and have a den since turned into a nursing home and this road here this road here I'm walking up now this used to be all garages and there used to be like an old slaughterhouse with all pots and where they used to hang the meat and big pots of dirty stale fat that used to stink but there used to be all old buildings and old garages all up here and this is where my back garden used to back onto it and we used to have three fields that led all the way down to the Cubs hut and this was all ours the farmer just used to leave us alone Plank line I used to walk up here to school every day and then walk home dinner time, have my lunch, walk back again and then walk home with a night. I think we were about nine or ten walking down this lane on our own. I don't think you'd let a nine or ten year old walk down here on the road now. Things were different in there. I think a lot of the weirdos were still out there but I think with the internet and social media you're more aware of it now so I think kids are a lot more sheltered because people know the weirdos that are out there and this particular part of plank line that I'm on we used to call it corner we called it that because there was always dog mess around on this corner all the time you always had to walk in the road on this part of the road. It was terrible. Remember that dry white dog poo? You never see that anymore, do you? Another thing you don't see anymore. Men's girly mags. When you were little, you used to find magazines stuffed in bushes down lanes all the time. You never see that anymore. Not that I look for it. But that's all due to the internet, isn't it? I mean, you can click on the internet now and get whatever you want. I did want to quickly get some footage from up here. This was the uh, first house behind me when I moved out. I moved in with my mate. A lot of good parties in there, but it was just one big party house really. Uh, that's the reason I moved out to be honest, it was just too much. And in the flats behind me, Again, my mate moved into there after he had his own flat. Again, I've had a lot of good parties in that house. Some good times down there. Another building that's changed in Waterhorn is the building behind me. The dentist used to be Waterhorn doctors. Come on, can anyone remember Dr. Shannon? He was my doctor. Here's another place we used to hang around when we were younger. Over on the playing fields. In this car park here we used to park the cars, play the music, annoy the neighbours. a football around 
and beyond me's changed. There used to be some kind of, it was like a shelter, like a seat with a roof on. And we used to sit on there as kids and that was there for years. And that just disappeared. I don't know why really, because they haven't replaced it with anything. Should have just left it there. So that's it. Another two and a half hours of walking around the village on my own early in the morning, looking like a weirdo talking to myself. Let's see if it's all worth it.